foundations, concealers, primers, and powders. Look at this. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so this acrylic organizer is actually from Ross. It fits most of these products when it's not overflowing like this. It actually fits most of these products pretty well. So let's go ahead and dig into this. So in this area, I have foundations with the exception of this concealer palette. Here I have face primers and back here I have concealers. And legit, I used to never wear drugstore foundation. I would only wear Clinique and it's actually not even in here, is it? It's probably in my makeup bag. Let's just get into this. Here I have my stash of my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And I literally have the shade 108, 109, and 110. 108 is too light and a little too yellow. 109 is like, it's a little too dark that it makes me look muddy if I wear it on its own. So I like to mix in 108. 110 makes me a little too orange to wear all by itself. So I either mix in 110 and 108 or 108 and 109. So I'm keeping all of these. This is my absolute favorite drugstore foundation. Okay, next up I have three of the Maybelline Matte and Portless. And this is my second favorite. I have the shade 330, 310, and 322. 310 is absolutely too light. 322 I do like, but I often mix it in with something a little bit darker. And it says 330. And this one's actually 330. I, I am totally out of 322. So I took the pump off and switched the lids. I'm going to get rid of this because there's nothing in it. But I need to repurchase 322. 330 is a little bit too dark. So I typically mix in a little bit of 310. I'm keeping 310 because I've bought it. And I can mix it in to help make a foundation match my skin tone. Okay, this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I have the shade Caramel and it is too dark for me. So I'm going to keep it because this baby was $40. And I do like to use it when I mix in a more matte foundation that's a little bit lighter for me. So what I'll typically do is mix in a little bit of the 310 of the Matte and Poreless and it makes my perfect shade and keeps me a little more matte. Okay, here I have two e.l.f. products. This is their foundation serum, and I do like this during the summertime, so I'm keeping that. And this is the primer. It does fill in your pores. It doesn't keep me matte because there's like tea tree oil in it. So it does keep you feeling a little oily. So I'm passing it on for that reason. Next, I have two e.l.f. foundations, and I'll be passing them both along. They're just not the right color for me. I love this Maybelline BB Bronze. This has got to go. It's just absolutely too dark for me. This is the, the Maybelline Better Skin. I absolutely love it. This is a primer. We'll get to that. We'll get to concealer. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but it's the BB Cream version. And it's just too dark. So this one has to go. Next, I have these Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation Sticks. I love them. They are perfect for foundations. You do need to set them if you're oily. They're great for contouring and highlighting. Love them. Maybelline Dream Pure BB Creams. Love them. Have to mix two colors together. Oh, the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I love this stuff. And I never really use it in videos, but it is a foundation that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. They do not have the perfect shade for me. Their foundation oxidizes. This is NC40, which is clearly too light. And this is NC44. I've tried NC42. I've tried, I believe, NC43. And none of them work. So what works is mixing both of these two together. This one, it could be a perfect match, but since it oxidizes, I look orange. So when I mix these two together, it balances out. Love them. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. I have not used this in a really long time. It's probably not even good. Next, I have these Clinique Moisture Surge CC Creams. Oh, one's a CC cream and one is the Even Better Makeup. This one's in beige. It doesn't match me. It came in a bonus bag, so I'm going to pass it along. The Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream. That actually looks like that could match me. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Clinique Beyond Perfecting. I just haven't given it a chance, so I'm going to keep it. The CoverGirl 3-in-1. I think I've only tried these 
once and I bought classic tan and I think it was like a little too pink for me like once I put it on my skin it kind of like it just had no color to it so then I bought tawny which is clearly too dark and like mixed them together but I just really can't even remember if I liked them. So let's give these babies another chance. I'm gonna toss this one. Oh, Physicians Formula. They have the cutest packaging ever. They are not brown girl friendly. They just truly aren't. And it's so disappointing because they're such a great brand. A little pricey for the drugstore, but with coupons and sales, you can get some great deals. This is light medium and it is just ridiculous. Like I couldn't even use this as a concealer. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. Yeah, I'm going to pass this along. Okay, moving on to face primer. This is the new Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Girl, it's amazing. I'm not getting rid of that. This I do not like. One has been open before and the other one hasn't. So I'm going to chunk one and then pass one along. Okay, I do really like this Smashbox primer. I'm going to keep it. This Smashbox one, I will repurchase. I absolutely love it. I'll be keeping both of these. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. And I really want to purchase a full size of that. I'll be keeping both of these little samples of the Benefit Professional. Love it. This is my one and only luminous primer that I will keep because I do love how this makes my skin look. I love the NYX Angel Bell. I don't even think this is probably good anymore. I've had this for probably way too long, so I'm gonna get rid of that. So what I have left, this is the Ulta Matte Primer. I've tried one and haven't opened the other one and I wasn't impressed, so I'll chunk one and pass one along. This I wanna still give a chance. I have not tried this. I got it in an Ipsy bag. The Dr. Brandt Anti-Aging Mattifying Lip. This, I heard everyone rave about it. The number seven beautifully matte. And I tried it once and I think it made my skin kind of tingle. But I really can't remember. So I may try this again. This is the It Bye Bye Redness. Keeping it. Okay, last but not least, concealers. I love, love concealers. So we're gonna get started with these two right here. These are the Revlon Photo Ready Concealers and these were my first concealers ever. This was back to my extreme couponing days. I probably got these for like a penny and I used them up to the max. So they are going into the trash. Okay, I'm going to pull out my absolute favorite concealers, which may be this entire thing. That's okay. So I love the Kat Von D the Maybelline Master Conceal, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I have another Master Conceal. Oh, my Sephora Bright Gel Serums. Love these. The Maybelline Better Skin. I have two of the Maybelline Fit Me's. I have two of the Instant Acre One. One's a little too light, and when I bought the darker shade, it's too pink. So I like mix them together. Love, love, love these. I love the MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. And the Physician's Formula one is practically a dupe. It's just not as yellow. So I'm keeping both of these. I think we all know that I love the L'Oreal True Match. This NARS one is fairly new to me and I do enjoy it. The MAC Pro Longwear. I absolutely love, love, love the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Both of these are Clinique concealers. This one is the All About Eyes Concealer. It's gorgeous. It's very full coverage and I love it. This NYX concealer palette I like it I'm not in love with it I'm not in love with this NYX concealer waterproof pencil so I'll be passing this one along I wanted to love this so much this is the L'Oreal visible lift blur concealer I love the foundation which reminds me it wasn't in my foundation stash be right back these are the ready set gorgeous cover girls I'll be keeping both of these these are the L foundation palettes. We'll definitely keep these. And here it is, the Visible Lift Blur Foundation. It isn't necessarily great for oily skin because it's basically like a primer foundation. It blurs, it smooths. I love it, but I do have to set it. And I have two shades because I have to mix to find my perfect shade. So I wanted to love the foundation and it's absolutely too light. So I have to pass that along. And my last two concealers. This is the Boo Boo cover up that I got in an Ipsy bag and I haven't even tried it yet. So I'm going to try it. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. It's never been opened, but it looks too light. So I'm going to pass it along. Okay. 
Moving on to eye primers and setting powders. Now I pretty much every setting powder I have will probably keep because if it's not my right shade or I don't like it, I'm very good about taking those back. So here I have the Maybelline Fit Me's Makeup Forever Duo Matte, love it. The Urban Decay Naked Skin, love this stuff. This is the Clinique Stay Matte, it's like my holy grail and it's practically empty i only keep it to know the shade so i should probably get rid of it and just write the shade down these look a little crusty but i absolutely love them they are the elf clarifying press powders they are perfect for your makeup bag your purse on the go they're just so slim rimmel stay matte only for setting like my under eye this is the elf translucent mattifying powder but it's actually in the color corrective which is kind of like a yellow and i do really like it i really enjoy the sephora a bright set one it's in a banana shade so these two products are pretty interesting this is the Mally one and it's the poreless face defender and I just don't know if I'm sold on it yet like I kind of like it and then I'm like no oh, it's kind of weird I did buy this covergirl true magic one which was supposed to be like a dupe for it and I do not like this one this one feels more like oily or greasy. I'm chunking this one. Okay, next up, more banana yellow powders. This is the NYX banana one. It's just a little too white. I'm gonna give it another shot there. My Ben Nye banana powder, love it. This is the Bessemer Translucent French Vanilla setting powder, but it's yellow and it smells amazing and it is amazing. This right here. Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Everyone needs this in their life. This is basically a pore minimizing primer or after you have done all of your makeup and you're like, you know what? I wanna look a little more flawless. Press this into your pores, girl, flawless. Here's another foundation. This is the Revlon Color Stay, and I've actually been trying this out a few times and I like almost like it at first when I initially put it on and then I do not like it four or five hours later. I get so oily, even when I set it with a powder, it's ridiculous, it starts to separate. Their color selection is so awful. This is probably going back to the store, like it is still that new to me. Okay, next up we have eye primers. Oh, here it is, my Maybelline Baby Skin. Love this stuff. I have all of these samples of the Urban Decay Primer and I love their primer, so I don't need all of these. I'm gonna keep two and pass the rest along. These are the NYX eyeshadow bases in skin tone. Well, one's in skin tone and one's in white. I absolutely love skin tone. Holy grail. And this one's in white. I don't love it as much, but I do still like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Max Paint Pot in Painterly is a key. This is a Clinique sample of their like redness corrector one. I do really enjoy it, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, Lorac Keep. Benefit, stay, don't stray. I just love the teeny tiny size. It just fits in my makeup bag so well, and I do like it. Urban Decay, keep. I do not need three of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, so I'm going to find the one that I've used, which is this one, and I will pass these two along. Okay, here I have these, like, under eye refreshers. I have the e.l.f. Eye Refresh, and I have the Benefit Puff Off, and I love them both, so I'm keeping them. Okay, so here is everything that I'm keeping it looks so much better. I'm so excited. And here is the stash that I am tossing slash giving away. Well, that's a wrap for day three of 12 Days of Christmas with me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Don't forget to leave a comment down below because there is a giveaway for this 12 Days of Christmas. And the more comments you leave, the more entries you get. So, get to commenting. Also, if you haven't checked out my Black Friday haul giveaway yet, I will leave the link to that video down below because you should definitely check that one out too. Alrighty, well that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.